there. How are you today? Diana from Adirondack Girl at Heart. I teach vintage and antique lovers how to create successful antique businesses that they love. One of the ways I do that is by shooting videos like the one you'll see today where I share my recent vintage finds and give you the price that I paid for them and a suggested value. If you follow me on Instagram, which you should if you aren't yet, Adirondack Girl at Heart, same name for my blog, my Instagram, my Pinterest, my Facebook page, all of that. If you've been following me on Instagram, then you've probably seen some recent stories of our trip to the Finger Lakes area of New York where we attended a 50 mile long garage sale on Route 90. That's from Homer, New York, small little town, up to Montezuma, New York, another small little town, all along Cayuga Lake, one of the Finger Lakes. We had a super fun time, stayed in a gnarly RV Airbnb, but had so much fun shopping up and down the lake and the day ended with a little stop at a winery that was so nice. Hearth and Hand Winery in Union Springs, New York. So enough about that. Today I'm going to share the things that I found, that we found together on that trip. One item I don't have with me is a side table, a kind of ornate Victorian side table that I picked up for $10 that I and planning on painting either the entire table or just the surface. So that is actually still out in the van. <laughs> it was bigger than I wanted to carry today. So let's start with some of the glass that I found on the trip. One of the first stops, I picked up five salts. So back in the day, um, people would serve salt in little dishes like this called salt cellars or referred to by antique dealers and collectors as salts. There would have been a larger master salt, which would have then filled the smaller salts for each person at the table. And there would have been tiny little spoons that you would use to put the sugar or the salt on your food. So I picked up five for a quarter each, couldn't pass them up. They are often chipped around the edges and on the bottom. Look at these really darling little feet. So there are three that are like this that I picked up, quarter each, and then two others. This is a little China Nippon, which is was a way of referring to Japan a long time ago, turn of the century. And then, and this was hand painted. And then this little bluish one. I picked up salts that were, uh, she had a lot to pick from, but I picked the five that I liked the best and that were the most unique. And I'm going to say I'm going to price, I'm going to start out at $10 because I think those are so cool and then maybe six or eight dollars on on these two. So that's salts. At a different garage sale I picked up this uh, daisy and button this is the daisy right there. Can you see the flower? It's a little hard in this light. Daisy and button is a very common pattern uh, for glassware. So this is a milk glass toothpick holder. You could also possibly use it as a votive, but it's a, a, a toothpick holder, which there are a lot of collectors of toothpicks and they sell really well for me. I will price this one at about $12. They tend to sell for $8 to $12 for the most common type and then on up for, you know, more elaborate and exciting examples. I also picked up these crystal chandelier uh, crystals for a dollar. I believe there's five in there and there's one that is broken uh, but wow wouldn't that have been cool as a crystal on a on a chandelier those were a dollar they tend to sell for three or four dollars each I will probably bundle them together and I've sold them on Etsy 
the amber color is nice, different from the clear. <clears throat> I picked up three canning jars. I have a number of blog posts about canning jars. I'll link to them below. I like to pick up jars that are new to me. This one says Sterling on it, Sterling Mason. This one says Shram. I don't think these are necessarily rare, although I'll research them and find out. And then this one doesn't have a name, but it has a great um, lid and a lid holder. So those were a dollar each. They will, I will sell them for a minimum of $10 each. Then I picked up a couple of refrigerator. Oops, well, this little one is stuck. Oh, there we go. This larger one says salt, which I just think is awesome. Speaking of salt, it would have had a lid and it would have contained salt. It was $2. I believe that will sell for about 12 to 15. And then just a plain little one. It's uh, got glass bake on the bottom, which is a fairly well-known glass, pre-Pyrex. Pre, pre this one was a dollar. I just thought that was adorable. Oh, and then the last glass is this Hoosier jar. You can tell them, especially by this um, rib around the center and then all of this um, vertical ribbing and then an aluminum lid. They sell, this one is in really decent shape. The lid's not perfect, but they sell for 10 to $12 and this one costs a dollar, cost me a dollar. Okay, that's it for gloss. How about some pottery? Some china. Here's a nice little creamer. Miniature pitcher, maybe for syrup or gravy, that sort of thing. It's by Homer, Lof Homer Laughlin, an, an American potter. This is an earlier mark. It's, you can't see the top, but this is an eagle, and then it just says Laughlin. That's an earlier mark for Homer Laughlin. And these pieces with the decoration don't sell for a huge amount, but oh my gosh, it was so pretty. It cost a dollar, and it will sell for tw about $12. Picked up three ironstone butter pats. I have sold several sets of them on Etsy. They should sell for about $25 to $30, $32 for the three. I paid a dollar for all three. And I picked up this flower frog because I do love flower frogs. I have a couple of videos that you can find here on YouTube about flower frogs. I also have a blog post and a price guide on my blog. This one is not in great shape, but I just, this lily pad design on a little mini pedestal, I couldn't pass it up for a dollar. Back to some ironstone. At one sale, I picked up two ironstone mugs. They were a dollar each. This one is marked Homer Laughlin, and you can see that is a newer mark than the one that I just showed you. But this is very common, you see, on a lot of Homer Laughlin. And I have been selling mugs on Etsy, Ironstone mugs, for $20 to $30, depending on their age. This one isn't marked, but look at the size of that and this great rim here. So these will also, should sell in that price range on Etsy. And I picked up these two dishes. These are haul with a, probably an item number below. Hall's a very well-known American potter that made a lot of utilitarian wares like toilets and sinks and things like that, but they also branched into restaurant ware. Are these sherbet dishes? They were 25 cents each, and they are what I would refer to as either early American ironstone or restaurant ware, and these should sell on Etsy. They are so interesting and unique. I'm hoping in the 
maybe $30 to $40 range. Okay, so that's it for ceramics pottery. On the way to the sale in the Finger Lakes, we hit one garage sale not too far from our house, about 20 miles, and I picked up this uh, enamelware pot. Not super old, but what a cool green color, probably from the 1960s or 70s, and it was $2. I'm hoping that it will sell for $20, $25, something like that. Okay, so then I picked up a couple of wooden things. My son's nickname is Grizz or Grizzly, and so we buy bears whenever we see them. He was $4. If I was gonna sell him, I would probably put 20, 20 to 22 dollars. I think he's handsome. And here is a match, matchbox holder. Matchbox could have fit right in there wooden you often see these in metal it has this amazing graphic on the back that they use to line i almost like this more than the matchbox it was two dollars and it will sell i think for about fifteen dollars here's a few farmhousey things that i picked up a shoe last or a shoe form for a child's shoe just such a beautiful shape and will look really wonderful waxed it should sell in the 20 to 25 dollar range and i at christmas time will put a, a red candle in there and sometimes line it with a little bit of garland here oh my goodness so cute a celluloid handled knife these look so nice inside of iron stone i have several uh, knives forks spoons all you know placed inside of an iron stone pitcher and this will be added to that it was a dollar a well loved hand hoe with a wonderful handle again will look great waxed it was a dollar it should sell for about 12 to 15 I picked up a couple of pigs this one for a dollar this one also for a dollar they should sell about 10 this one more because he's got he's actually been whittled he's been shaped into more of a figure so maybe 12 to 15 and this one more like ten dollar and a and a well-loved cutting board for 50 cents I'm gonna clean it up a little with some salt and lemon juice I have a blog post about cleaning old um, cutting boards I don't think this is super old but I thought that canning jars a pair of aqua canning jars would look really terrific in there and it was two dollars this is actually one of the first things that i bought at the sale it's a display it's on a like a lazy susan it was three dollars it's double-sided and i think that will be great in my antique booth i will um hang some bags from there things things that fit best in bags is what i'm thinking a small box jewelry box or a, a man man box it was two dollars very art deco i think it will clean up nicely and sell well on etsy i think i'll price it in the forty dollar range and see how how that does this is my favorite find this amazing box with square head nails i hope you can see that square head nails and lots of room for storage on the inside it was $15 I'm dating it to the 1800s to the 19th century and I'm hoping to price it hoping to sell it in the $125 range a sweet miniature book that was a dollar it's got some some color images 
I think it will sell for about $10. Here's a leather bound a reference library book, Building Stone Brickwork, Lighting Fixtures, Architectural Design. It's seen better days, but it was a dollar and I thought it was terrific. The diagrams inside, which I'm trying to find some, are super crisp and clear and so interesting. There's an illustration of a light fixture. I haven't had a chance to research it yet. Here are some ornamental mo motifs. I'm hoping it will um, be rare <laughs> and that I might be able to sell it on eBay for lots of money. 20, 25, 30, 40, not sure about that. And then if you've been following me, you know that I sell a lot of cookbooks. The more common ones I sell in my antique booth for anywhere from 10 to $20 and then more unusual or rare examples I sell on eBay for more money. The I Hate to Cook book is very famous by this Peg Bracken and people really like to have it in their collection and this paperback version I will price at $10. Here's the joy of cooking, not in its typical blue and white cloth cover, but uh, this bright yellow, and the date on it is 1941. So I think this predates the blue and white one. So I need to research it and to see how valuable that one is. And then here's the Betty Crocker new picture cookbook. I think this goes for about $10, but again, I'm going to research it and get some more information. This one has a lot of writing in it and things glued. She glued some of her favorite recipes in there, which some people are going to love that. Okay, so the last thing that I wanted to show you are some bits and bobs that I bought that I will use to make junk angels. So if you've seen the most recent edition of Farmhouse Style Magazine, one of my junk angels is in, um, it's the summer issue, I believe. <coughs> it might be the fall. And she sold on Etsy for $89.99. So I recommend sellers who, antique sellers who enjoy crafting, that they consider making some junk angels of their own. And I do have a blog post about how I make them. And here is another one that I happen to have on hand that I made. You can see this is a, an, a trivet for an iron and this is a hinge. And these are also hinges for her arms or wings and then her, her head. I think that's a poached egg cup. And everything is attached on this um, baluster, wooden baluster that I had. And I just sold her for $59.99, okay? So that's good money, you wanna think about that. So whenever I see the trivets, I pick them up. I like to get them for a dollar, but I paid $3 for this one because it's well worth it, right? And then sometimes this one stands up on its own, but other times I make them on different kinds of um, pieces. These are hammer handles, but obviously they won't stand up. I buy bases that will hold the, whatever it is that I'm using, a spindle, or in this case, a hammer handle that will hold it in place like that. I'll, um, I'll make it steady and put the, the angel on it, and then the angel can be set like that. So that's just an idea for you to consider making some junk angels of your own and selling them, whether it's in your antique booth or on Etsy. I hope you enjoyed seeing all of my vintage finds today. I hope you'll give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment, subscribe to my channel. That would be awesome. And I hope to see you soon. And as always, happy hunting.